Hey guys. So as much as I love Highlander, um, I still really love to pub. I do it quite a bit. I find it's not only fun and relaxing, but good practice. Um, there's a lot more things to shoot and a lot more things to stab, and it's a really great way just to solidify your muscle memory. You can work on basics too, just basic acting like backpedaling across the line, uh, all that stuff. Now, whenever you go for a trick stab, you should ask yourself, should I be using my gun? Well, the obvious answer here is no. Um, there are way too many opponents and they're all full health, so my only chance is really trick stabbing here. I do that by strafing and snapping. Kind of similar here, only I use the decloak sound to predict where he's going to look and strafe appropriately. And I'm just going to do a little baiting here with this teleporter. So movement's very important with trick stabs. Uh, now here I jump for the medic, because I assume the demo is going to react to the jump, but he reacts a little late. And unfortunately I get called out and decloak de by accident but I'm able to strafe per perpendicular to his strafe and get the stab. Uh, another way to get stabs is against backpedaling targets. Uh, you run forward or strafe uh, faster than a target that's backpedaling. So <laughs> do watch out for rocket jumping and sticky jumping demos coming out of the spawn when you camp it. Now here I'm kind of not giving up yet because this demo's under 102, but his health gets above that and I go ahead and back off. But I'm going to stay on these guys. Um, <clears throat> even if I don't kill them, just distracting the combo is a very big deal. And now here I'm just going to pretend to run away and do a little backward stab. It's always important to give your target something to believe. Here that's me going after this demo. And here I'm going to pretend I don't see the scout and I'm just running away. Now this is Granary. It's a 5 CP map and uh, it's play just pretty much push and hold. It's really hard to get behind them and get a pick right now because they're just holding and spy checking and there's not much pressure coming from my team. So I'm just trying to try and do a little work with my gun. Um, but I'm feeling a little ballsy. I'm going to go ahead and try and decloak here so the demo doesn't see me. But he does and I have to improvise. So gun first a nice small elevation, nice quick stab. Those are the ones that tend to work. The faster they are and the less time they have to see you, the higher your chances of success. Now, of course, you don't have to just rely on that. You can manipulate your target's movement in various ways, like decloaking behind them to make them turn in a predictable way. Now, I notice I'm being nice and proactive with my gun. I get a headshot on the medic, and that's a pretty big deal. It can force him to pop or help him go down to my teammates and just force him to act less aggressively. And there, once again, the question of whether or not to use your gun or your knife. Uh, he was full health and about to blow me up, so I had to go for the trick stab. Now for stabs like these, I visualize. Um, I see the pyro spots me, I try not to let on that I saw him see me. And I just picture him coming at me, and eventually you get the timing down with enough practice. So... Here I go for a little drop stab on the Sniper, but in Highlander most people know about these stabs and they're very wary of them, so you have to be a little fancier than that. Here I keep it blind and nice and quick on a low incline and it works. Now, there are times that you really want to decloak aggressively. Here I'm around a corner and I have teammates nearby, and I, the pyro just happens to open himself up to a little jump stab. I got too close without air blasting. Now that he's down, I can act much more aggressively. I'm going to be an engineer who can often play the flank and be away from the combo. And I'm just going to kind of hover around in front of them in plain sight so they believe it. And then I go for the demo, which is probably the biggest stab at mid other than the medic. My teammates call that they're going to go for the medic now, and I'm going to come in and try and give them a little extra damage and distraction. But uh, it doesn't happen. So now I'm in a big rush to get this medic. He's got full charge and they're going in for the push. So I'm going to take kind of a risky decloak, although that's a pretty good distance with all this noise going on. And during pushes, there tends to be a lot of noise on the mic, too. You can also make yourself really useful as a spy just by the passive exercise of keeping your opponents busy. Uh, this long run back to respawn for the pyro is about the same as a respawn time. <laughs> it turns out, maybe two. And same thing with these guys, just trying to keep them occupied as long as possible, keep them away from their teammates, and keeping them useless for a little bit longer. And why not add one? 
Well, that was a pretty good feign. It was out of sight and really could have only been better if I were disguised as a friendly. I hang back for a little bit before going in just to make sure they didn't hear me. And here I'm forced to go for the demo instead of the medic. I might have been able to get the medic, but the pyro is so close I didn't want to risk getting nothing. Demo's a really big pick. Now remember, whenever you're turning corners, act like someone's coming. Kind of go perpendicular at a cutting angle. You'll get a lot of easy picks this way. And it's just a safe thing to do. Shooting before a fan makes it much more believable. Um, and here I'm in big trouble. I'm going to drop down just to get the pyro away from the combo. If I die, at least delay him. But uh, I managed to do a little fancy strafing and get out of it. I'm not even going to bother to engage those guys. I'm way too low health. Since the scout can chase me down, I go ahead and try to take the teleporter. I'm um, getting to an unexpected spot and get a nice convincing teleporter trail, but <laughs> luck is not with me. Now, there I could have gone for the soldier, but the sniper's a little more important at this point. Um, the soldier's not going to really be able to kill anyone until the push happens, where the sniper can get really big, big picks at this point. That can pretty much change the game. The soldier's mostly useful for holding down the lobby until the push happens. But why not get him anyway? So, just go in the opposite direction of my teammates, hoping that the distraction stays. But I just barely poke into the engineer's FOV. Um, but I take one hit before the feign, which makes it extra convincing. I wait for him to get just out of audible distance, and I'm assuming there's a lot of noise on the mic, so this is a push. I skip the scout stab because he's low health and not a big threat to my teammates. That demo's full health and could blow up everyone on that clustered point. Okay. Now, yes, I would call those fail stabs. Uh, it made the hit sound, the little crit noise and everything. But you have to take responsibility for your fails. Um, really, had I stabbed earlier, I probably wouldn't have fail stabbed. It was just very close. There I go ahead and take the rocket on purpose just to get rid of him. I'm kind of playing with my food right now, and I'd rather just engage this demo on his own. He's uh, getting a little mad, and I like that. So I'm going to decloak an audible distance, just to keep him from running away. And now he acts like a big fool. <laughs> Look how many stickies he's hitting himself with. I know I don't have to use my gun, I can just use my dead ringer. And since he has a sticky launcher out instead of his pipes or melee, I can decloak right in his face and get an easy kill. Very safely. And let's see how far we can push this. I'm holding down tab so I can see when he respawns, and I know the heavy's coming out, not him. And <laughs> look at that rage pyro. In pubs, I'd call that the ultimate success. Thanks for coming out, guys. Hope to see you soon.